Welcome everyone to today's TDL member forum for November 2022. My name is Christy Park. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the executive director of the Texas Digital Library. I'm so glad that you've joined us today. As I welcome you to this shared virtual space, we'll start as we normally do by acknowledging the physical places from which we join, all located on the indigenous lands of Turtle Island, the ancestral name for what is now called North America. Though TDL staff work re fully remotely and we are all joining from our own specific places in Texas and elsewhere, I joined from Austin and the Central Texas area where the Tonkawa were among the traditional stewards of the land before their forcible removal. I invite all of you to share your own land acknowledgements in chat if you'd like to, and we'll share a link where you can learn more about the colonization lands of indigenous people in your area. Here's our agenda for today. My portion of today's presentation was recorded yesterday, and when I'm done, I'll hand it over to Deputy Director Courtney Muma and DPLA Service Coordinator Elliot Williams for some live updates on services and community events. Our Communications Manager Leah DeForest is presenting today to the UT iSchool Digital Libraries class, so she can't be with us um, in the forum today. Okay, first off, um, I'm delighted to announce that we'll have a new staff member joining us soon. Megan Hernandez will join as our new administrative associate on December 1st, which is just around the corner. And I cannot wait to introduce you to her at our January 2023 forum. Megan's joining us from Texas State, where she's been working in the graduate college there. I want to especially thank Leah DeForest for leading the search committee that hired Megan, along with all of those, including some of you who served on the search committee or participated in stakeholder interviews for this search. We're really excited to get Megan on board. Next, since we're right on the cusp of the holiday season, I just want to remind everybody that TDL observes the holiday calendar of the University of Texas at Austin, which is our organizational home. So we'll be closed next Thursday and Friday for the Thanksgiving holiday, and then from December 23rd through the 30th, returning to the office on January 2nd for the winter break. We will, of course, be monitoring our hosted applications and repositories and also our help desk email and we'll be providing tech support for urgent issues during that time but we will be less available um, because of the holiday closures we'll put a link in chat um, to a page on our website where we've listed those dates for you and speaking of the upcoming holidays, we've decided to cancel the December member forum since it falls so closely to the start of winter break. But we definitely want to see all of you and celebrate with you before the end of the year. And so we've got some news coming up later in the presentation today about a member holiday hangout in December, which we hope all of you will attend. And we'll see you there um, instead of at the forum. Okay, I wanted to follow up briefly on some discussion at the last forum about the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy Public Access Guidance that was issued in August, colloquially known as the Nelson Memo. Um, as you recall, this memo issues guidance to federal agencies to update their public access policies to make all research publications along with the data needed to validate those publications immediately available to the public no later than December 31st, 2025. This is a significant expansion of the 2013 Holdren memo in that it, uh, well, three things. One, it removes the optional 12-month embargo that was allowed under that guidance. It extends those public access requirements to all federal agencies that fund research, not just those that fund more than $100 million. And third, it, it also includes data in its requirements for public access. So 
This new guidance and the policies that come from it will no doubt have significant impacts on the scholarly communications field. And TDL wants to be prepared for those impacts and make sure all of our members stay aware as well. That said, the memo as it stands now merely directs agencies to update or create policies and provides general guidance for doing so. There's no specific policy language at this time, and we don't know the details of the direction those policies will take. For instance, the guidance directs agency policies to require that publications be made freely available and publicly accessible in agency designated repositories without any embargo or delay but it doesn't specify what an agency designated repository is those decisions are up to each agency and per the ostp timeline for implementation those plans won't be published until december of 2024. so it's a big deal, this memo, and it's important that we stay aware of this policy and the process that's just beginning for developing agency level policies. But there's not much to do um, in the near term. TDL is definitely monitoring this issue closely and will continue to do so. And we're also working through our partnerships with Spark and the US Repository Network Project to influence as much as possible the direction that agency policy takes um, in ways that include the community-owned institutionally based repositories that are a vital part of the scholarly communications ecosystem so you know we've been following it you know all all fall um, we attended a um, a white house ostp webinar um, last week to see what we can learn. And I think the answer is there's just not much to know quite yet beyond what the memo states. So we'll keep you updated as we learn more and as opportunities arise for us to learn together and work together on this. And finally, before we move into our service updates, just a reminder that if you have questions or suggestions for TDL, you can obviously ask them here or you know email any of us and we'll be happy to address your questions but if you'd like to make suggestions or ask questions anonymously you can use our suggestion box form to do that we'll provide a link to that form in chat and hope to hear from you there so next we'll move into our services and projects updates starting with dspace and ojs with dspace um, our DSpace 7 upgrades task force has been meeting since last month to test and plan for upgrades of our hosted repositories, which we have scheduled right now for the summer of 2023. We'll provide a link to our group's wiki page in chat, which you can use to stay abreast of the work that they're doing. Secondly, um, TDL's digital librarian resident, Ema Odwok, is a member of that group and has selected DSpace work for her first rotation within TDL, which I'm very excited about. Colleen Lyon, um, the head of scholarly communication at UT Libraries, is serving as rotation supervisor for that work. And Ema is currently working on accessibility documentation for DSpace 6 and will transition to assessment and documentation for version 7. Um, and I look forward to um, a future forum where Ema will provide some updates of her own on the work that she's doing there. Um, no major updates on OJS, Open Access Journals, this month, except to say that we have deployed several new journal sites for users in the last month at Texas State, Sam Houston State, and the University of Houston. Um, our next meeting of the OJS user group will be held Thursday, December 1st at 10 a.m. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Courtney um, to continue our updates. Thanks, everybody, and take care. Well, hey, that wasn't terrible. That worked great. <laughs> oh, I'm Christy Mark. Until I played it again. <laughs> I spoke too soon. 
Um, well, thanks, y'all, and um, extra thanks to Christy for doing that yesterday before she had to be out of the office. Um, and Diana, I love that you almost waved. <laughs> I'll send that wave on to her. How about that? Um, so I'm Courtney Muma. I'm the deputy director of the Texas Digital Library. My pronouns are she, her. Um, and I only have a couple of service updates for you today. Um, the first is about digital preservation. So TDL's senior developer, uh, Nick Woodward, also our link sharing hero today, is currently participating in a development sprint with DuraCloud's lead developers at Lyricis, as well as other international partners. TDL will reach out to all of our DuraCloud members in early December following the holiday to upgrade your DuraCloud dashboards and share instructions for you to update your own local sync tools. So look for that email. Um, I also have an update about Virio. Virio ETD version 4 migrations continue. Our lead developer, Frank Smutniak, has four remaining TDL hosted migrations, which are set to be completed before the end of the year. And TDL will share our plans for Virio 3 instance deprecations starting in January of 2023. I also wanted to update you um, again about Austin company Nobility, who is working on their accessibility assessment for Virio 4. And we look forward to sharing those results with the Virio community as well in the coming year um, after we get their reports. And now I'm gonna hand it over to Elliot for his update about DPLA. Thanks, Courtney. Hey, everyone. Great to see you all today. Uh, my name is Elliot Williams. I use he, him pronouns, and I'm TDL's DPLA Metadata Aggregation Service Coordinator. Um, as I mentioned last month, uh, our October DPLA harvest marked the University of Texas at San Antonio's first harvest to DPLA, and we are super excited to have UTSA as part of the Metadata Aggregation Service and to help share their amazing collections with a broader audience through DPLA. Um, with the inclusion of UTSA's collections, TDL members now share over 59,000 records with DPLA, which is awesome. Um, and I'm really excited to watch that number continue to grow in the next couple of months. Uh, Nick put some links in the chat to a blog post on the TDL website, highlighting some items from UTSA's collections, as well as a blog post um, from UTSA Special Collections talking about joining DPLA and why they are excited to be part of the aggregation service. Um, TDL also shared some items from our members' collections on Twitter for the monthly archives hashtag party event. Um, so if you're on Twitter and you enjoy culinary and food history, uh, definitely check those out on our Twitter account. I also wanted to say thank you to everyone who attended the metadata support gathering webinar that I hosted a few weeks ago. Um, we had some really great conversations and I loved having the chance to learn about metadata practices and workflows with all of you. The recording and slides from that event are available on the TDL website if you missed it and want to check it out. Um, and because we had such a great response to that metadata support gathering and we want to have more opportunities to talk about metadata, I'm going to be hosting metadata office hours next month on uh, December 15th. And we are trying something new with this. So we are hosting the office hours as a chat discussion um, within the TDL community Slack. Um, we'll put a link in the chat to the event page where you can learn more, download a calendar invite, um, and sign up for the community Slack if you're not part of it already. We'll definitely be providing plenty more information and resources about how to participate in that event in the coming week, uh, weeks, but I hope you'll join us to ask your metadata questions and share your expertise. And with that, I'm going to pass it back to Courtney. Thank you, Elliot. And that metadata webinar was great. So I'm really excited about these office hours that you're going to be doing in Slack with the community. So we just have one big exciting update today and Christy alluded to it earlier. Um, we miss you and we want to have a TDL holiday hangout. Um, everyone in the TDL community is invited to our TDL holiday hangout. Um, thanks to Leah for this very pretty slide graphic for the hangout. Um, Please do join us, um, TDL staff, for a chilled out, low key <laughs> virtual hangout to chat with friends and colleagues for our community. Pets are welcome, plants are welcome, you're welcome, family's welcome. Um, we're going to do it on Friday, December 9th, um, and uh, we're setting aside one hour from 1 to 2 p.m. Central. Come as you are, come and go as you please. You don't have to stay the whole time, and we can talk about anything you want. Um, we look forward to seeing y'all at the Hangout on the 9th, um, and we've shared a link there in chat so you can grab more information about it and get it in your calendar. 
And now I just want to kind of recap um, that all of these meetings and events that you see on your screen here are free and open to anyone, whether you're a TDL member or not. Um, you're always welcome to invite your campus partners and non-TDL member colleagues in your network to join us. Um, in particular, of course, highlighted here, we have the holiday hangout, but we also have our first metadata office hours. We have our awesome GIS interest group meeting, um, and we've got um, uh, and remember too that our forum is canceled for next month. Um, oh, and I'm just seeing in chat that John can't make it because he has a meeting at that exact time. Well, John, maybe you can send us a video because now we know we can play it. <laughs> but we'll miss you if you can't join us. So with that, are there any questions today? We've got um, about 11 minutes left over. So any questions for any of us? Um, especially any of us here representing TDL. We've got um, sysadmins and we've got our developers here as well. Um, also, while you uh, get your questions ready, I want to remind you about the suggestion box again. So if you do have feedback or suggestions that you'd like to give us, please do use that suggestion box um, and you can be anonymous there as well if you choose to be. So you're welcome to unmute if you've got any questions for today or ask us in chat. We'll wait a moment for everybody to think. Okie doke. So um, we have the links that we provided today in the slides, which will be in our repository. We'll also be sharing the video recording of today's um, fairly smooth forum, despite the, the new format. Um, and thank you all for coming. It's always really good to see you. We really hope to see you at the Hangout coming up in December. Have a good holiday next week if you celebrate. Take care, everybody. Bye.